Good evening, and welcome to Project Music's first annual virtual fundraiser. We're so happy that you've been able to join us. My name is Dan Morris, and I am proud to serve as the chairman of the board for this great organization. Again, thank you for coming out. We really have a wonderful evening ahead of us full of music and stories and laughter, and we hope you're going to have a great time. We're also going to hope that you're going to be very generous in helping to support our cause, which is to continue to educate the kids in Stanford that don't have access to a music education. We have a lot of things that are going to happen, but we are going to start off the evening right away with an anonymous benefactor issuing a challenge grant to all of us. The challenge grant is basically this. For the first $5,000 that we raise, this benefactor will match it dollar for dollar. So it's really important that we try and get out of the gate really quickly and so we can blow right through that challenge grant. I know I can count on everybody to be as generous as possible. Our text to give button is open. You'll see a text number down below that you can donate directly. If you like to be a little more old school, our donate button is, is on the screen as well. In addition to our general fund, we've also set up another fund called our Family Relief Fund. I can't... Uh, I can tell you that for what's happened in the last six months has upended everybody's world. COVID-19 has been just a devastating event for so many families here in Stanford and around the world. So what we've done is in addition to our general fund is we've established a family relief fund for our families that are having food insecurity issues. They're having dwelling insecurity issues. Uh, we want the ability for our kids to continue to learn not only what we're teaching, but also the availability of being able to access schoolwork. So we want to make sure that there's money available for Internet access and for being able to have a laptop in order to access the online curriculums. So a couple different ways that you can give is you can give directly, which we will always appreciate. You can give directly to the Family Relief Fund as well. We also have an online auction that's been online for a few days now, and there's over 20 packages that are available. Um, we have a courtyard event with a jazz trio and a comedian and wine and hors d'oeuvres. We have bicycles, electronics. We have gift certificates to local restaurants and establishments. We hope you'll be able to go take a look and be generous there as well. Also, throughout the evening, we're going to be having a series of raffles culminating with our grand raffle prize at 9 p.m., which is a smart TV from Toshiba. So we hope that you'll be able to stick around, learn something new about Project Music, enjoy all the music that we hope to bring you over the next two hours, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Please be generous. Thank you so much. Now to the show. Thanks, Dan. Welcome to an evening of celebrating Project Music. I am Gary Mendez, one of the co-founders and currently the artistic director of Project Music. And this is Nelia Garcia, a proud Project Music parent. We're going to be your hosts for this evening. We have a wonderful evening of music from our students, teaching staff, and some very special guests. Tonight, we're also going to be paying tribute to our founding members, board members Joyce D. Camillo, Chris Truglia, and Mort Lowenthal, who were integral to starting Project Music with myself and Ian Taylor. Uh, as Dan mentioned, in honor of these members, we're having a matching $5,000 challenge um, for donations, everything that happens currently right now. So text play music to 44321. Again, that's text play music to 44321. And you can make that one-to-one -one donation matching right here. That's for it. So if you give $100, that's worth $200. So let's make that all the way up to that $5,000. Um, that's very exciting. Um, thanks to you right now to everybody who's already been doing our silent auction. We already have over $1,300 in bids. So that's really exciting. We can't wait to see who comes out on top for those prizes. Um, so... Also, we have a bunch of great raffle prizes. We will be giving away in the next two hours. Uh, listen for your name to be called. You could be the luck, lucky num winner of a power bank, a Bluetooth speaker, or, or a 10 year smoke detector on the grand prize. It will be the 32 inches Toshiba Fire TV. All right, that is, that is very exciting, Nelly. I can't wait to see this. Yes. And just to show you how serious we are, and like that's going to happen all the way through, let's get started right now and give off our first raffle winner. So, Nelly. The first raffle winner is Monica Piazak, who is the winner of a power bank device char charger. Let's clap. Woo! 
congratulations, Monica. Um, yes. So, to kick off this evening, even farther before we get into our Project Music House Band, we're going to turn this over to uh, the one and only Alan Coulter to get this evening started. Take it away, Alan. Hi. I'm Alan Coulter, and like you, I want to see these children grow to their full potential. Your being here tonight means you know how vital Project Music means to them and to their music education and to their future, supplying students with everything they need to be, the best musicians they can be, giving them a real chance to succeed as musicians, instruments and supplies and composition classes, as well as organized group classes and one-on-one -on -one lessons from our talented and dedicated teaching artists. You know, the pandemic hasn't stopped us from most of what we want to do virtually. And we're going to need your help even more when schools reopen and these talented youngsters have access to an intensive after-school program four days a week as they had before that they otherwise couldn't have and won't have without your support. No spring fundraising gala this year, so we're asking you tonight to please give. It's my pleasure this evening to introduce the Project Music in-house band, comprised of many of our teaching artists, performing Oye Como Va. So sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to give.
she walks, she's like a samba that sways so cool and swings so gentle that when she passes each one, she passes goes on.
Wow, that was some great music, wasn't it, Nelly? Yes, it's yeah. great. Yeah, they, that's some great playing, and that's our teaching staff. You know, my only comment being that trombone player could use a little work, I think, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, first, I want to say huge thanks to Barbara Ochino, who uh, was singing with us. Um, for those who don't know, Barbara is an amazing local singer, um, and she sings around all around Stanford, Norwalk, or all around the area. She's been huge in supporting Project Music. Uh, she's helped have us perform at Art Walk, um, the Greenwich Stroll, and we've even gotten to perform at a couple of her live uh, club gigs, so that's very exciting. So thank you again, Barbara. I also want to thank uh, Colin Ben, uh, who was sitting in on the bass that evening. He's a great friend, a phenomenal string specialist. Viola is his main instrument, but you saw he was playing bass. Uh, he works for myself and Ian at, uh, at King School, so thank you again, Colin. Um, that was just a sneak peek of some of the music you're going to hear tonight and also the talent from our teaching staff. All right, our, our students get to work with those teachers all the time, and that's where your support is so vital. You guys supporting us allows us to have teaching staff like that. Our teachers play with professional symphonies, uh, bands that tour around the country. We've had some of our teachers uh, play in Broadway musicals or on the touring companies of Broadway shows. So it's really amazing that our kids get to work with something. So it's really important that all of our proceeds go towards that. So remember, if you want to donate, please donate. Text play music to 44321. All right. Um, we Time for another raffle winner? Yes. All right, yes. let's do it. We have a second uh, winner for a JBL Junior Pop Bluetooth speaker, and the winner is Dan DeVos. Woo! Woo! Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. All right. So maybe this is your first time uh, hearing about Project Music, and you're like, what is Project Music? Well, Project Music is an intensive music education program in Stanford, Connecticut, designed to provide under-resourced communities with all the positive educational, social, and emotional benefits that is proven to exist with music education. Um, our mission is to use trans the transformative power of music to affect positive social change for the students most in need of access, opportunity, and inspiration. To tell you more about our whole mission and what how we're designed. I'd like to introduce my good friend and co-founder on our side of the administration side of this, Ian Taylor. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, Nelly. Wow, what a wonderful night for us to be here together. Thank you all for attending to celebrate everything that Project Music is and has become over the years. You know, many, many years ago, uh, we started Project Music uh, as the realization of a dream and a recognition that a music program could be so much more than just about learning music, which is valuable in itself. Uh, but we recognize that uh, creating a community around this learning experience and performing experience and all else uh, can be a window into changing all sorts of things about our local community. We took inspiration from a couple places, um, one from the what is now a worldwide movement uh, we call the El Sistema movement came out of Venezuela uh, founded by the educator and activist Jose Antonio Abreu uh, and also from a local hero uh, from Tony Truglia who started another program called Project Music back in the 1960s and both understood as we do now that enriching children's lives through the study of music um, and particularly through creating a social experience around it, learning together, you know, struggling together, achieving things together, always in a cooperative way and a nurturing way with the staff, uh, could have a profound impact on the lives of every one of our students and the people who surround them. And uh, it's, it's really come a long way since that idea and accomplished a lot. And I'm gonna hand it back over to Garrett to talk a little bit about how we go down that road. Thank you, Ian. Yeah, so one of the main reasons we pick our programming uh, and designed it around ensembles is that we feel it has some of the biggest social benefits. But just talking for a second about what, why music has so many proven benefits is it, the types of skills that are developed through studying music are just so important to other life skills. We're, we're talking about sequ sequential learning, problem solving, resilience, commitment, and creativity. So think about it, first time you try to play an instrument, um, and now you can attest to this here in your, your, your son first time playing a saxophone. They don't sound very good right off the bat, no. right? 
Um, it just was nice. <laughs> it, and it, it takes some resilience to hand putting some strategies in place to start to put that work in. And when you do that, you start to see that you get better. So you see that progress. So you realize, oh, when I put work in, there's something actually happens. And so that can be translated so many times across. And that a whole problem solving. When you can't do something, you have to stop, think, right? To yes. think about what's wrong, how do I that fix it? Sense. Put a plan into action. These are such essential skills that don't just apply to music, but they apply to everything you're doing in your life. Yes. And that's what we're hoping the kids take away from just not just playing the instrument, but what are, what are the skills they're developing while they're learning how to play the instrument. And I think the reason why we really decided to focus on ensembles over maybe just single individual lessons a lot is that social communication, right, that happens. Right? You have a lot of responsibility when you're in an ensemble. You might be the only person playing your part, and you have to prepare it the best because if not, you're letting everybody else in the ensemble down, right? Um, there's also opportunities to have a lot of communication, so you're learning how to communicate both verbally and uh, non-verbally the way you play your instrument. Um, and the mentoring opportunities is something really big in our program and that we took from the El Sistema model where uh, we have combined level ensembles that play a lot. We have different groups based on their skill, but often we go out and perform in public. And so the younger students are seeing the older students constantly, and we have the older students working with those students. And it has the younger students look up to the older students, and it gives the older students a chance to actually demonstrate and mentor our young students. So that is some of our core curriculum that, are, you know, that we really focus on. And we've seen the huge benefits of our program. Uh, so we want to give you a little taste of what that kind of multi-age group ensemble looks like. So next up, you're going to see um, some performances of our students. The first one's going to be when the Saints go marching in. And also from our, one of our holiday times, we're going to do a little Jingle Bell Rock. I hope you enjoy.
name is Dorothy. I'm the mother of Christopher. Uh, he's been part of Project Music for two years now. And I just want to say that it's been really a great experience for him, for my family. Um, I could especially say during the COVID-19, um, it's been really hard for us and for Chris. And he's able to focus. He's able to play music two, three hours a day. He's found some that he loves. He's had a hard time, unfortunately, throughout his life with school and being labeled and basically being labeled as a mess. And But Project Music has seen him as a masterpiece, and I think he sees that in himself now. He's become a great leader, and I know he has a long way to go, but the future looks great because of Project Music. Thank you. Thank you, Dorothy. Um, I can say, for me personally, it's a pleasure to work with Chris. He plays trombone, and it is so, so much fun to work with him. Uh, just give a little update on how we're doing on our matching donation. We are at right now $1,475.18. Alright, so that's awesome. I know we can keep that going though. Let's remember, text play music to 44321. Text play music to 44321. Let's get that full matching 5000 donation for tonight. Um, well, since we're talking about that, why don't we give off another winner of the raffle? Yeah. Yes. We are going to give away a um, Kittle 10 year life smoke detector, and the winner is Marianne Gutierrez. Congra congratulations, Marianne. All right. Woo. Woo. That's great. That's great. Um, so uh, let's talk a little more. I right, hear there's a lot of action happening out on the Sun Auction. I, I think we should um, maybe talk about a few. Um, I know on that list, I'm really excited. Hoping my wife's out there bidding on this, but uh, the Casa Villa is one of my faves, right? I, mean, I can't always drive 16 hours back to see Papa Mendez uh, and get his frijoles, so <laughs> I want to go to Casa Villa instead. So um, yes. that's great. There's a lot of great ones out there. Um, the f um, you want to talk about the live music comedy? Yes, we have a unique auction prices, that, like a private party here in the courtyard. Can you imagine being here with live blues, R&B music, and live comedy? A case of awesome wine from the boutique Sonoma by New York Broadway wines and a variety of yummy appetizers for you and your friends all socially distanced safe and comfortable oh, get a few of your friends together and get beating come on <laughs> yeah and that's happening here so just like how you saw the house band playing and what you're about to see in a second here another band that's happening right here it'd be really cool to have your own live show for you. That, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Yes. Now also, Nelly, I hear you like to dance. Yes. Yeah. So I there's like another one, right? Uh, dance with Maria. I hear yes. that there's some uh, private dance workshop for two I, people. I, I will tell my husband to start beating because he needs some classes. You hear that? You better yes. start beating, start bidding there. Come All on. Right. <laughs> All right, let's make that happen. So, yes. uh, so again, amazing um, auction items all right and we want to thank everybody uh, all of our the sponsors who provided those items for us for this event that's awesome so thank you very much um moving right on in our show we've got some more amazing music for you um this is going to be um headed up by our board board president dan it has a amazing uh, classic rock band and so i'm going to hand it back over to dan to tell you to introduce his his band i think they're called hit the deck and now it is my pleasure to introduce my band, Hit the Deck. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Black curtain near the station. Black roof country, no gold pavements, tired starlings. Silver horses run down moonbeams in your dark eyes. Dawn light smiles on your leaving, my contentment. Oh, 
Platform ticket, restless diesels, goodbye windows. I walked into such a sad time at the station. As I walked out, felt my own just beginning. Blowing through your hair 
come on roll with me till the sun goes down Texas sun See you wanna hit the highway for the engine roll Come on roll with me till the sun goes down Texas sun Sun. Caressing you from Fort Worth to Amarillo Come on, roll with me to the sun dips low Texas sun, oh yeah Texas sun Sun. When I'm far from home and the cold winds blow Step out somewhere with folks I don't know Cause you keep me nice and you keep me warm Wanna feel you on me, I can't wait to get back there again Texas sun I said That was some great music. Nelly, there's nothing like some classical rock. Yes, uh, right? nothing like that. Nothing. It makes you feel real good when you're listening on a back porch. Uh, this is awesome. And so I always want to say that our donations are coming in, but let's keep it coming. Hit that text to play music to 44321. Let's keep this energy going. It sounds great listening to that music like that. Um, I think we need to give off another raffle, right? Yes, let's yes. Let's do it, Nelly. Right now we're giving away the power bank device charger and the winner is Lisa Borowitz. Congratulations Woo! Lisa! 
That's always important, you know, power right now these days. You never know what's going to hit you. <laughs> never know what's going to hit you. Um, all right. So uh, one thing that's really special about our program, too, is not just the amazing teaching staff that we have that are high caliber artists, but we go above and beyond that and constantly expose our students to other high caliber artists um, from local symphonies like the Nowak Symphony and the Stanford Symphony. Um, we also have professional musicians that travel around the country, come in and stop in and work with us. Um, for the past few years, we've had, uh, uh, we're lucky enough that two of our teachers are associated with a band called the Funky Dogs Brass Band. If you haven't heard of them, you should Google them, check them out. They tour nationally and even all across the world. Uh, they're a phenomenal band and our students have gotten to work with them multiple times and gotten to play on stage with them multiple times. It's so exciting. So that is a really important part of us, making sure that our students get inspired by seeing what's possible from these artists. So next up, you're going to hear uh, a few tunes that we've done working with the Norwalk Symphony. Uh, we did a thing with Rhapsody in Blue where they came in to the Boys and Girls Club and worked with us. And then you're going to see from a fundraiser at the King School, the Funky Dogs were the headlining group and they brought our students up on stage to play with them. So I hope you enjoy. All right, how about those students jamming? All right, yeah. uh, that tune, On My Way, that's one of my favorite. And I, I love every time we get to see that video again, like the kids are just having so much fun and being inspired by the Funky Dogs. That's awesome. Another thing that makes our program so special is the partnerships that we've been building over the years with other community organizations. From day one, Domus um, has been a huge supporter. That's where we started our first program at Chester Addison Community Center. Um, and we still have active programming 
at that at the center and we've done our summer camps every year there um, and also the boys and girls club has been absolutely amazing to us that's where um, our El Sistema program hub has been based uh, and then they've they've worked with us so many ways we've done performances for them it's just been great community support in addition we've had some great partnerships with the Greater Connecticut Youth Orchestra um, we've had kids for the past three years there this past year we had 21 students involved in in the band and orchestras and uh, percussion ensemble and from early on too we've had a great connection with King School uh, they have we've they've helped host a El Sistema residency where we brought in uh, musicians uh, programs from all around the country El Sistema inspired countries from the Northeast up and down from Baltimore from New Jersey uh, all around this area and we you know last uh, 2019 was our last one we had that you know we had close to 150 uh, students played so it was really awesome. Um, and last, you know, one of the other big things that we do is our partners is with the public schools. Um, we work hand in hand with the band teachers, making sure that we communicate how our students are, and you know, so we're trying to help support their programming and give them, our kids that resources. So um, we're really proud of all that partnership we're having. So we're going to um, show you a couple of those partnership performances. The first one is a Tchaikovsky five mashup from the 2019 King Residency and also a, uh, a little clip um, of the Greater Connecticut Youth Orchestra with a few of our students playing in that. Hope you enjoy.
Oh, that was some great music, wasn't it, Nelly? Yes. It sounds um, great. One of my favorite things, right, uh, from the, that mashup of Tchaikovsky uh, was the conductor Steve Hackman. He's a world-renowned conductor who's been conducting, he's done the Philadelphia Orchestra, Indianapolis, Seattle. Um, this last fall, he actually came to Stanford and uh, conducted the Stanford Symphony. Our students are getting to work with that kind of talent. That is absolutely amazing that they get to work with that kind of talent. Um, and it's all because of the support of our, um, of our donors making this program happen. So please keep donating. These are the type of things that our students get exposed to. So remember to text play music to 44321. And we still take that opportunity right now for that matching donation, that one-to-one -one, up to $5,000. We're getting there, but we can do more. So don't forget to donate. Raffle time? Yes. All this right. is the fifth prize that we're giving away, and uh, it's for a JBL Junior Pop Bluetooth speaker, and the winner is Patrick Fairchild. Congratulations, Woo! Patrick. Woo! Woo! Nelly. Then we have unique auction uh, prizes, too. We have uh, three bikes, one men's, men's mountain bike and two kids. One is 12 inches and the other one is 16 inches. Comes with removable training wheels. Let's go bid on them. Those bikes are great. Gotta yes. get those kids out to get the exercise. Yes. And it's tough right now getting a bike, so this is a, that's a good one to it's be bidding It's a good time on. now to have a bike. Has, has your uh, husband uh, bid yet on that dance? I think he should. We're looking at he you. He should. We're looking at you. Come on. Get on that. Get on that. We need the classes. No, you need the classes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nelly. Let's continue with these great community performances by hearing four of our students playing Hondo's Hallelujah with the West Hill High School Band.
Oh, don't you love that last piece, Nelly? Yes. It was right. one of yeah, it was one of my favorite um, things to be able to work with a uh, uh, Modernetta, Connecticut, a great dance troupe, um, and it's one of the things. It's core philosophy of what we do at Project Music is we play varied styles of music. Um, that is just as important as playing in ensembles. We make sure that we're not playing one genre of music. Uh, we got a few reasons for that. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is that we want to share music from our students' communities and cultures. And we want to demonstrate, by doing that, we demonstrate that all our music styles are equally valid. And it removes that implied hierarchy that Western mu culture music is superior to all forms of music. Um, we kind of show that because what we do is we're studying the music and playing the music. We break down the rhythms and notes and pitches and we realize it's all the same thing. And, you know, certain tunes, like some of Tchaikovsky's music had no more chord progressions than a blues, in some cases less. And so we really show that this music's equal and it really helps our students feel good about the music they like to play and bring it in. So um, that's something we're really passionate about. And I wondered, since you've been a parent and seen so many performances, what you thought about that? Um, I thought that it's amazing how the, our kids can play different kinds of type of music, like classical music, uh, jazz, band, all kind of that they propose to do it, they do it. Yeah. I think that what you're just saying is that we teach them that the skills are all the same, right? You learn how to play the instrument, you read the notes, you read the rhythms, it's, it's all the same. And so once you can do it, you can go to any style of music and that opens up the doors to learn about other people's culture okay. yes. because, you know, myself personally, and we're starting to do it with our students, we've taken them around and other groups, they get to be exposed to other um, cultures Culture. through music and like they get to know people personally from different countries and their instruments. It's a really eye-opening thing and I think yes. That's uh, a beautiful thing about our programming. I'm so proud that, that we're doing that. So, um, all right. I think it's time to turn our attention, Nelly, to honoring some people that made Project Music happen. Um, yes. Without these individuals, these uh, former founding board members, Project Music wouldn't exist. And so we are going to take the next few minutes and to honor these uh, great, great people, is the best way I can say it. Um, uh, Mort, Joyce, and Crystal. And we're gonna start off with um, Joyce um, playing for us. Um, she's a phenomenal jazz pianist. So she's gonna kind of introduce this whole segment by playing some wonderful jazz piano. Hi everyone. Thanks so much for joining us tonight to celebrate Project Music. I am no solo pianist, but thanks to the pandemic, I'm going to give it a whirl. And I'd like to do two songs tonight, which I think, I hope, you will recognize.
morning. You got your mask too. Well, I wanted to, to come by to thank you in person for six years, if you can believe it. Six years of your leadership uh, with Project Music on the board. Uh, being there with Joyce and more in the beginning, coming up with the whole idea for it. It's Thank the you. kids, you know. Mm -hmm. You, 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 unbelievable. And I want to thank you because without you, well, and I think you've we always been there, really. reminding Darren and I that it's all about caring for the kids first. Yeah. Um, the, the music comes second. We're amazed by how you're doing what you're doing now. <laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs> I enjoy doing it, and I'll probably come and visit you and be with you and whenever you want me to come over. Oh, we hope you're not going going anywhere just because you're stepping off of the board. Doesn't mean we have to say goodbye. Okay, right? thanks. If it were an in-person event, we would be presenting you an award at the event. Um, but since we can't, we'll be sending it to you. Um, and this is just a little mock-up of the design really? of what we'll have for you. So it's, a, it's, it's, beautiful. it's a glass piece that you can put on the shelf in your Oh, thank you so much. This is going to be great. Well, I wish you well. And I will, you know, if you want me to call me once in a while, I'll come if you want me to come. To of course, we'll always let you know like when there's a performance. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, Mort. How are you? Good morning. Well, I want to, to come to thank you today for, for six years of dedication. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're sharing this moment with an audience on Tuesday. <laughs> it's been six years. So I want to sh give you a little preview now. We're sending each of you uh, a little uh, sort of memorial to, that you can, can put on one of your shelves here, something to remember yeah. all your time project. Yeah, by. So it'll be a, yeah, a glass piece like this. Yeah, it's perfect. And I wondered if, for right now, you had anything you wanted to say about why the three of you put your heads together to, to get Project Music off the ground. And well, obviously it was to get these disadvantaged children who needed something that they'd have in common. And it's worked out very well because the kids, obviously, it means something to them. They get along, they're part of something that's bigger than they were in the original. What do we get? How many do we start up with a year now? 40 or 50? Uh, the, the first year we signed in 40 kids <laughs> uh, fresh and we've, we've served several hundred over the years now. So, yeah, and, and all, a good handful of those first 40 that we signed up at the Chester Ask Community Center are still playing with us now. Which is really um, A few of them getting into high school now. Yeah. <laughs> up, so. so yeah, it's, it's come a long way. And, and a you got some good musicians. Yeah, some of them are doing uh, really phenomenal things now. So that was the whole idea of it, to give them something to do. That's uh, it's really great, and I'm glad we could come here and see you today. Well, it's nice it's been a long come. time. Hi, <laughs> oh, it's good to see you again. It's been good so to long. Good to see you too. <laughs> so, so wonderful, really. Um, but we just wanted to, to make, make the chance to say thank you in person. Oh. Uh, with uh, your tenure as chair coming to an end online, and yes. sort of uh, the anticlimactic end there, uh, but it, it was six years of uh, a fantastic effort, starting with with your idea in the beginning to just to, to form Project Music out of nothing, and we've come a, a very long way since then, and never would have happened without you. Thank you so much. I mean. I say this all the time, I'm a broken record about it, and uh, when Garrett explained to me how good it could be, uh, I really didn't believe him. I knew it would be good, but I did not know it would be this good. And that's all thanks to you guys. The staff is just amazing, and the way you love these kids. And it's just a, it's a joy of my life to see it happen. Really, I'm so glad cool. to hear you. I'm not the only okay. way. I still no, love No, please PM. don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> no, I'm going to so, be around. If we were doing this event on Tuesday in person, we would be presenting you and Mort and Crystal with uh, a little award for your time of service. Um, we can't do that live, so we'll be sending you one, but just so you know what's coming. I've got this oh. design. It's a glass piece that will oh. be etched with your name. Beautiful. And so. That is just beautiful. <laughs> so Thank you paper. so much <laughs> to everyone. 
This is just, as I say, it's a joy and a delight. Can I take this? Yes, you take that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Hang that on the wall till the till the real one comes. <laughs> so beautiful, really. Thank you so much for coming over. Please yeah. give everybody a big virtual hug for me. I will. Okay. Great. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. I was wonderful to see them uh, receive those awards, which we have right here on display right now. Um, it's amazing. Um, personally, I will never be able to thank Crystal Moore and Joyce enough for approaching me back in 2013 and for trusting and believing in my vision of that we needed to start an L system inspired music education program in Stanford. Uh, again, I just can't thank them enough. Um, let's help keep their vision alive. All right, let's keep this texting motion happening. All right, it's slowing down a little bit. We're still hovering right around that 2,000 mark for the match. Let's get that going. Like, let's help them keep this vision going. So remember, text play music to 44321. Again, that's text play music to 44321. All right, Nelly, let's get this party ramp back up. Let's get some more raffle wins. Yes, yeah? we have a new one, a winner. That is for the power bank device charger. And the winner is, the winner is Donald Hirsch. Congratulations, right. Donald! You Again. got the power bank char device charger. You can't have enough power right now yeah. these days. Yeah. All right. So as we're going to continue getting this party going, we're going to turn over back to the PM house band, our teacher band, to play a old New Orleans style tune called "I'm Walking," which was originally a Fats Domino tune. So I think you'll really enjoy this. This is. One, two,
That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yes, a lot, a lot. I can listen to that music, all that style of music, all day long. Me too. Yeah. Um. Well, let's get going on some more auction winners, yeah. Yeah. How is the dance um, classes uh, bid? Still going on? Yeah. Or nobody. Um. Very low, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe we should reach out to your son out there. So, Celine, if uh, you know. Your dad's not gonna get out there and get those dance lessons for your for your mom. Maybe you should do it. Yep. Yeah. You just, know what is his 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 um credit card? Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, she's she's promoting it, so yep. I'm gonna leave it there. Yep. Um, the other thing we want to make sure everybody's still single, by the way. You can have a band playing for you, just like you just That's heard, true. in this, this spot, way. live music. I mean, that sounds like a pretty awesome event. So that's something that can still be outbidding. Like, who doesn't want to have a live band? And also get some uh, wine and some cheese with a little comedy. Sounds like a fun evening to me. A lot of fun. Yeah. So. Yeah. Get so. a lot of, uh, get a group of friends and start bidding. Start bidding. Yeah. Want to do another raffle winner? Yes. All right, why let's not? do it. Let's do it. And uh, right now we are uh, giving away the. JBL Junior Pop Bluetooth speaker, and the winner is Suzanne from. All right, congratulations, you Suzanne. Did it. All right, uh, all right, all right. Another amazing thing about Project Music's curriculum is we have a bunch of composers in our in our midst. All right, all of our students are writing music. And let's um, and we do it in a couple different ways. And one of the biggest ways we do it is what we call a collective composition uh, and arranging. And that's where we get all of our students together and from scratch, thinking theme ideas, we create brand new pieces of music. And this has become one of our hub things that we do, and we perform a lot of pieces. And there's a few reasons why we've kind of made this one of our, our core parts of our curriculum. Number one is it helps amplify a student's voice. They've got so many ideas in there that we often don't allow them to express their own musical voice. And you know, when we're just allowing them to only play off the page, they're not getting that chance. So we want to encourage them to amplify their voice. So that's huge. Number two, it reinforces their music skills. All right? When they're playing like this, creating these ideas, they're using all their skills and all their knowledge, the theory knowledge, to actually execute it in a, a really active way. And so it, it not only helps them create, but it turns it back in where they start seeing those same patterns and it starts in the music that they're playing and they start listening differently to the music they're actually playing so they become better ensemble performers too in this process. And like our big third reason is that it develops better communication and leadership skills. For us to create a piece together we have to be able to talk right now we have yes. to communicate and often when we break them off into these little groups they have opposing views and ideas. Some of them some people don't agree with an idea yeah. and that and they have to learn how to oh. compromise. Right? and to come together to actually make a piece. That's something right now that we really need right in this world for our new leaders to become out there. And this is what our students are going to be, new leaders that know how to communicate, create, adapt, and lead. So this is something that we're really proud about, how our students have become young creators and composers, which we know are going to make them super strong um, community members in the future. So uh, our next couple of pieces that we're going to listen to are two of our original uh, compositions. The first one's an adapted... Uh, creation from a, a New Orleans brass band, a Hot 8 brass band tune, um, 
And then the next one is from our big King Residency project. We have uh, a 20 minute piece, which we're not gonna play the whole thing, we're gonna play the last movement um, from, it's called Combine, Mixing, and Blending. I hope you guys enjoy.
I've been with Project Music for three years now, and what music means to me is that it helps me reduce stress, helps me to learn, and to focus. What Project Music means to me is that I have a community to rely on and by my side. I also have cool opportunities, music-related or not. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. We are so proud of you. Um, Nelly, that was some great music, yeah? Yes, yes. Can you believe yes. the students created all that? I, 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 I have no doubt that they did that. <laughs> yeah, it's quite amazing. So I just got some big news that just happened. I, I, we just heard that we got a, a $500 donation in to go towards the matching. Ooh, the ma that's the, great. To the 5000 matching. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Let's yes. keep that happening. So remember to text play music to 44321. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's keep it going. Um, Want to do another raffle winner? Yes. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. And this is for a power bank device charger. And the winner is, come on, Colleen Masushi. All let's right. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. All right. So, um, again, we still got the sound auction going up. Um, so there's some great things. I think we're going to toss up. Uh, thank you to all the stuff, people who donated those, those great event items for us. Um, but let's get out there. There's some great certificates. Those bikes are out there. Yes. Live music right here. Let's make that happen. All right. Let's make that happen. So let's keep that going. I'm excited to see who ends up coming out on top. And Celine, you know what you're supposed to be doing. Bidding on that dance. Let's make that happen. I don't want to go home without that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... In, obviously in March, life changed for all of us dramatically. Um, we went from doing all this amazing programming um, in person with all of our students. We had all these big events planned. Uh, we, had that, our, we were supposed to have our sixth annual King residency and unfortunately, due to COVID, everything stopped. Happen. But we didn't stop making music and working. Um, we adapted. That's the you know, whole model in some of our curriculum is learning how to adapt and curriculum. And so we really went full-fledged into making sure that we could still be there for our students. Right? Yes. Um, so we went and we made sure we started going from, you know, in class to all online via Zoom lessons, uh, FaceTime, whatever it took to make sure we could get to, to a student. And that also included us finding that some of our students needed um, laptops. So we, um, Kayla and Leigh, our site coordinators, um, found that out and we got uh, some donated laptops to our students and we made sure that we we're able to connect and that's um, a really important yes. thing that during this tough time that we were able to still connect with them yes um, some of the highlights that from since we've been starting is that you know we've done uh, we did a big recital in June over zoom for all of our students and our family members um, and then we didn't just stop there normally our program kind of takes a break in the summer and we come back for a summer camp but we decided this year it was really important to keep it going. And so we kept summer lessons going. We had over 40 plus uh, students doing lessons each week. Um, and we had some amazing collaborations happening where we started doing, sending online summer camps uh, that were with students from all over the country. We had a really cool program where we were involved uh, with Salty Cricket. Um, uh, that's a program out in Utah. We had the Archipelago Project Summer Camp where that includes, pro uh, that includes students from all around the country from Dallas, Baltimore, uh, Rochester, New York, Detroit, um, all over the country. And, t and then we also just finished up uh, a summer online camp with L System UA sponsored that for the Collective Conservatory. And all total, we had you know, about tw a little over 25 students that were involved in all those different camps. That was over 100 hours worth of music classes. Oh, that. You know, and so, you know, I was wondering if you might want to mention some of that because I know Celine got to participate in anything and like what that was like for him to be able to still do something. He was very happy that that um, summer camp, the music camp, didn't uh, stop. He was so happy because he could meet with the old friends and new new friends, even by Zoom, and he said that he learned a lot as soon as he could participate um, making more music. Yeah, we found, and that's the thing now, is like over the summer, our students have uh, learned a lot about how to connect in a different way, and also yeah. how to create a different way. We actually found some students starting to create more in this environment because they were comfortable in the way we were using the programming, 
that they wouldn't have done before because they were too shy in you know in not the big group that. so here this worked you know well so it's not the same as in person obviously but we really made something and you know what we can be proud of too is that our students are getting really good at this technology and so we stepped into that a little bit more right that's some of the things that our students have always been under resourced at as get access to technology and these are 21st century skills that need so right now we're developing those skills and we're confident they're going to be able to take those and be able to use them in school future jobs so you know we've really stepped up so um, what we're going to show you now is some clips from some of the the solos that we did from our June recital so I hope you enjoy
see more of some of those performances we've been putting them up on our Facebook page so go and check some of those out and uh, you can hear even more of our wonderful students from what they've been doing this summer guess what Nellie big yes. news big 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 news, news. Oh. we just got a two thousand dollar donation Woo. that's bringing us Woo. Woo. yes bringing us this close this close we're $500 away from matching that $5,000 matching donation. So we're asking you, please, please, let's get in there and make that 500 happen. You can make that difference. You can make that difference in making that happen. Just think about that. Let's not leave that at the table. Let's not leave any money at the table. So please make it happen. And thank you so much for everybody who's been donating, all right? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And remember to make that donation go text. Play music to 44321. Text play music to 44321. We should keep that fun energy going. Let's get another raffle winner. Yes. All right. Let's do it. Uh, we have um, Kittle 10 Year Life Smoke Detector, and the winner is Natalie Reyes. Oh! Hey. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. All right, let's turn this back over to Dan and hit the deck for a few more wonderful songs. Ghost is 
said, Lord, I'll sap him. And I'll sap him. And I'll sap him. Wanna make it up to you for all things you should have before. Awesome, Dan. Uh, Hit the Deck is such an amazing band. I'm so excited that they performed for us. That was so amazing to hear their music. Um, we're this close. Everybody, we're this close to making that match. That match. So let's all get out there and make a difference, right? Think about everything you've seen tonight. These amazing kids. You're making that donation for them. So please text play music to 44321 and let's get that match. We're so close. We're so close, right? Let's live. We can do it. We can do it. Let's do it. For everybody um, and just want to remind you right now the auction still got some motion it stays open for another hour after our show ends so you've still got some motion here if you're trying to outbid that person you really want that prize all right and Celine you know what you're supposed to do all right she wants that dance yes. make it happen make yes. it happen yeah you have to do it okay you gotta do it <laughs> um, all right let's give out the rest of our raffle prizes yes we had two Prices right now, there are two power bank devices chargers, and the uh, winners are William Oppenheimer. Woo! Yes. Woo! And the other one goes to Samantha Shafransky. Samantha Shafransky. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, both of you. All right. More power. Yep. All right. It's time for our big grand prize, right? Right here. TV. Our 32-inch smart TV. TV. Looks, Fire TV edition. Looks like it's got a lot of bells and whistles. All right. Should we announce it? Yep. All right, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Okay. And the winner for this TV is Christine Irvin. Oh. Thank you. All right. Congratulations to all yes. of our winners and all of our winners. And if you're out there making those auction bids, don't let yourself get outbid. Somebody puts it up, you know, you just keep inching it up. Let's keep that motion going, all right? And remember, you got an, even an hour past when our show finishes. Uh, and let's get there. We're so close. Let's make that donation happen, all right? Well, we've got one more performance for you tonight, and it comes from our students. It's um, from our 2018 summer camp, and this is another original composition. It's the last movement and a half, and it's entitled We Believe. And I think if you really focus right off the bat here on these words that our students are singing, you understand that everything Project Music is about. So, hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Such a great performance. Such a great performance. Um, amazing news. We made it. You guys helped us do it. We hit the matching donation, so thank you so much. Woo! Woo! It means so much to Project Music, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I hate to even say that the evening's over, but it's we're winding down here, so I just want to make a few announcements and some thank yous, and uh, encourage everybody to keep, if you want to keep following what's going on in Project Music, continue to go to our website. Follow us at Facebook page, our Facebook page, right? We are always putting up new uh, videos of our students performing. We're going to keep playing no matter what the environment. We're not stopping. Project music is going to happen. Um, and so, uh, first, for anybody not knowledge, if you won a raffle today, make sure you expect an email from us. It's going to, from that registered number that you put in your email, we're going to contact you so we can set up the delivery of your prize, your wonderful yes. prizes here. Um, good news, if you're a hardcore bidder and you don't want the action to stop, the sign auction is actually going to 1 a.m. So you might have to keep your eyes open in case somebody tries to sneak that in there knowing that you might fall asleep. So it looks like you got to stay up tonight and make sure nobody surprises you, all right? All right? So that gives you even some more time, Celine, to make that, uh, that purchase. All right? Get that dance happening. All right. All right. So this has been a wonderful evening of culminating all of some of all of our work from the time we started this organization and up to now. And we are so excited where this program is going to keep growing. So um, the first thing I want to do is con uh, to thank our board for all the continued support and making it happen. Like we, we have to have a, a great board and we're really excited about where our board is going to be taking us in the future and we're so, so excited. So thank you. Um, thank you to everybody, all the sponsors tonight that made these for the sound auction, all these things to happen. Um, we really appreciate that. I want to thank my wonderful co-host, Nelly. The pleasure. Made the here. evening so much fun. Thanks. All right. I also want to thank the heart and soul of the program, Mr. Ian Taylor, for coming and joining us. All right. Everybody knows that he makes this thing spin, so we're so lucky to have having him here. I want to show a shout out to Jordan, who's running all of our tech. He couldn't have made this happen. All right. Everything that happened so seamlessly tonight is all because of him, so thank you so much. All right. And I want to also shout out to, to our new executive director we brought on a year ago. In this year, all things, of the energy, the motion of things going here. So, Felice, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. All right. I have to say, you know, we, this vision started back in 2013 when Joyce Moore and Crystal came to me. And, you know, we were really hopeful. We got it going in 2014. We've had our ups and downs of trying to figure out how to navigate this. Um, and you know what? We are so excited where we are right now, and we know no, nothing can stop us, and especially with your guys' support. Nothing will stop us. We will continue to make music. We will continue to make a difference in our students' lives and our families' lives. We will help grow a wonderful community of people in Stanford and make sure that Stanford is a richer community, both arts, and now these students are going to make a big difference in the future of Stanford, I think. So, right, Nelly? Yes. All right. We have a great future. All right. So that being said, thank you for joining us tonight. And I hope to see everybody in some format, whether it's digital, in person, hopefully soon, at one of our performances. Thank you again. Have a wonderful night.